up YouTube, my name's Anthony and this is another addition to my series of tree ID and this is the honey locust tree. The honey locust Latin name is Lidizia triacanthos. This tree can grow 65 to 100 feet tall and can get to a diameter of about 3 to 4 feet. So I live in the city of Toronto and there's thousands and thousands of these trees planted only as ornament trees and I've never seen any honey locust trees in the wild until this. Guys I can't believe it. I ran into a wild honey locust tree, not the ones that we get in the city that are hybrids and they don't grow these thorns, but this is a first for me, guys. Wow. Look how big these spikes are. Ooh, that's sharp. We've got a nice live one here. Look at the size of these thorns, man, and just clusters of them. I didn't know we had them here. I mean, this is south of me, right? But they don't really grow that far north, but yeah, very interesting. There's another one behind it too. So that's my first time seeing honey locusts in the wild and Niagara Falls is about 50 miles south of here. The trees that are planted here in the city are ornament trees and they've been hybridized so that they don't produce the thorns. The reason why they plant so much of these trees in the city is because the leaves are really small and they don't interfere with the storm drains and make for easy drainage of runoff water. They produce an 8 inch long seed pod and the seeds of the honey locust are actually edible. A lot of animals eat them and when they pass their stool that helps the seed pod spread after their digestive system has broken down the outside pod. The thorns on these trees can be quite long and they can produce problems for farmers with all these thorns laying around. And I've even heard a story of one of the thorns puncturing a tractor tire and costing the farmer $4,000 for a new tire. This tree can live for up to 120 years and it's very rot resistant so you don't see many of them rotting. The honey locust makes for great timber but they don't grow enough in the wild for there to be a whole harvesting industry. Let's take a closer look. You can tell the honey locust with the distinct fluorescent yellow color. It's a little dark because it's in the evening time now, but these are bright yellow during the day. Now this is the cousin of the black locust, and they both have similar forms with their leaves. Now these tend to be a little bit more narrower, and the black locust leaves tend to have more of a round profile. I'm just out in front of my old high school, and they have this nice big one here to be a specimen for this video. And you can see the bark is very tough and very rigid. And underneath is a very light colored, almost fluorescent yellow sapwood and the heartwood has a nice red color. The branches can be very brittle and they can often snap off in storms. And this tree is extremely dense. For firewood use, this is an excellent source of firewood. It doesn't really smell that great when it's burning, but the wood is nice and dense. And unfortunately, it takes very long to dry, probably about the same time as oak, which is about a year and a half to two years. The range of the honey locust tree is the very southern ed edges of the eastern part of Canada and the eastern United States. So I hope that helps in your quest for tree identification. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff. So I hope that helps you in your quest for tree ID. I've got a number of other videos in the series, so tune in and check them all out. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.